Good day my schoolers, welcome to my school channel, my name is Alexandra. So in this video, you will be joining me to solve the jam CBT pass question for the subject government year 2011. Please stay with us, do not go anywhere and we'll be right back. my school channel so in this video we'll be solving question 26 to 49 now let's begin with question 26 indirect rule encouraged dash option a communal integration option b exploitation and oppression option c intercommunal cooperation option d the rise of nationalism the answer to this question is option d the rise of nationalism do not forget that indirect rule was introduced by the British and it excluded Africans, Nigerians from their government. Okay, so and the rise of nationalism came as a result of people who wanted to take charge of their lives, be in control of all their political activities, be in control of their governments in general. So the answer to this question is option D. Question 27. The main achievement of the nationalist in Nigeria was Dash. Now let's remind ourselves of what nationalism is all about. Now nationalism grew out from the historical experience of colonialism. We see it grew out from a social group who wanted to take charge of their lives, take charge of their politics, who wanted to protect and defend their interests against competing groups. Okay, so a lot of achievements uh, came from a result of nationalist movements. And this include political education, so a lot of who were trained. Okay, we also have formation of political parties, we have change in constitution. So all of this had a positive effect on the political system of a country. So the answer to this question is a political liberation of the nation. So option C is the best answer to this question. Question 28. The major external factor that promoted nationalism in Nigeria was Dash. The answer to this question is Pan-Africanism. Pan-Africanism is simply the common interest of African descent. We will consider Pan-Africanism and the Second World War as external factors, external factors that promoted nationalism in Nigeria. However, the major is Pan-Africanism because the activities of Pan-African leaders and organizations inspired Nigerian nationalists, Nigerian nationalists. Okay, so we have leaders such as Du Bois, um, organizations such as the West African Student Union, New Negro Movement, and so on and so forth. So all of these organizations and leaders inspired Nigerians to begin um, the nationalist movement. Okay, so the major answer, the best answer is option A. However, the Second World War, uh, the impact of the Second World War was that it exposed the myths surrounding the white supremacy. So blacks could see that the whites were in no way superior to the blacks. So the answer to this question is option A, Pan-Africanism. Question 29. The presidential system of government was introduced in Nigeria with the constitution of Dash. The answer to this question is option D, 1979. The second Republican government of 1979 adopted an executive presidential system that is, the president is both the head of state and the head of government. So the answer to this question is option D, 1979. Question 30. The Action Group Crisis of 1963 led to the formation of DASH. It led to the formation of UPP, that is United People's Party. Okay, let's talk about the Action Group Crisis. The Action Group Crisis was between Awolo, which was the party leader, and Akintola, which was the deputy. Afterwards, Awolo and Anthony Enaura and other members were charged with treasonable felony and conspiracy to overthrow the government. And so Awolo was sentenced to 10 years in prison. After this, or because of this, um, SL Akintola was reinstated as the premier of the Western region and there he formed the United People's Party. So the answer to this question is option A, UPP. Question 31. Under the 1963 Republican Constitution, the power of judicial review was vested in the Dash. So the power of judicial review was vested in the Supreme Court. This means that the Supreme Court was given the power to check excesses or, or any unconstitutional actions of the executive or legislative. So the answer to this question is option C, Supreme Court. 
Question 32. The rules and regulations of the civil service are called general order. The answer to this question is option A, general order. So general order applies to all officials, be it public or civil of officers. Okay, it applies to them and it constitutes um, the system in which these officers are engaged or employed. So general order is the answer to this question. Question 33. The Code of Conduct Bureau was essentially established to dash. The answer to this question is enhance property and accountability in public service. Do not forget that the Code of Conduct Bureau was established in the year 1979 during the Second Republic and its mandate is to maintain and establish a high standard of public morality. Now let's take a look at the motto. The motto is um, honesty, transparency, and accountability in public office. So what do we mean by property? Property means honesty. So the answer to this question is option C, enhance property and accountability in public service. Question 34, which of the following political parties was the first to be formed when the ban on politics was lifted in 1978? The answer to this question is option D, the Unity Party of Nigeria. Now, on the 21st of September 1978, the ban on political activities was lifted and the next day being the 22nd of September 1978, the Unity Party of Nigeria was formed. So the answer to this question is option D. Question 35. The principle of federal character was adopted in order to promote equitable allocation of DASH. The answer to this question is option A positions and appointments among people of various regions. Now, the federal character seeks to ensure that the appointment to public service institutions fairly reflects ethnic diversity of the country. Now, what does this mean? This means that, for example, the Northerners do not have more appointments compared to the Eastern region or the Western region. So the answer to this question is option A, because they try to ensure that there's equal distribution of um, appointment or positions. So the answer to this question is clearly option A. Do not forget that you can take practice questions with our simulated um, CBT pass question. Now, how do you go about this? All you need to do is you click on the link in the description below. It takes you to the MySchool website. There you have to download my school mobile app for your Android phones and then my school software for your computers and laptops. Please go ahead and download and start practicing. Now, moving on to question 36. The component units of the Nigerian Federation comprises DASH. So it comprises of the federal, state, and local government. It is a federal system, okay? Also, we have the federal capital territory, which is a federal territory in central Nigeria that is Abuja, the capital city of Nigeria. So the answer to this question is option C. I believe you're enjoying this content. If yes, please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos. Question 37. In Nigeria, privatization and commercialization policies were introduced to DASH. The answer to this question is Option C, divest government major control of commercial ventures. Now, when we think of privatization and commercialization, we think of a private company taking over the ownership, the control, and management of public enterprise. Okay, so since the private company is taking control of it, it doesn't, it's not handing over to the government. Okay, it does not increase the asset base of the government since the private company is in charge. And it also does not allow government control of the private sector. So what it does is, is to deprive the government from controlling commercial ventures or public enterprise. So the answer to this question is option C. Question 38. An example of a public corporation in Nigeria is... The answer to this question is option B. Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, okay, so this is an example of Nigerian public corporation. Do not forget that public corporation is a government establishment or a government enterprise. Other examples include PACN, the Power Holding Company of Nigeria, and NPC, Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation. So the answer to this question is option B, Nigerian Television Authority. Question 39, following the reform of the native authority system in northern Nigeria, 
traditional rulers became dash? The answer to this question is chief in council. Now, it is chief in council. This is the correct terminology, not chief and council. Okay, so in 1952, native authority was abolished and then chief in council was put in place. So the answer to this question is option D. Question 40, under whose regime were Akwaibo and Castina states created? It was under General Ibrahim Babangida. So on the 23rd of September 1987, Ibrahim Babangida created two states, which are Akwaibo and Castina. But then afterwards in 1991, he created additional nine states. So the answer to this question is option B. Question 41. Under the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the appointment and posting of members of election tribunal on the elections conducted by INEC is the responsibility of the DASH. The answer to this question is option D, President, Court of Appeal. Now, according to the 1999 Constitution, it states, and I quote, that the chairman and other members shall be appointed by the president of the court of appeal in consultation with the chief judge of the state. So according to the constitution, the chairman and other members are appointed by the president of the court of appeal. So option D is justified as the answer to this question. Question 42, Rhodesia was the former name of Dash. The answer to this question is Zimbabwe, option A. Now in 1960, the African Nationalist Political Organization agreed that the country should use the name Zimbabwe instead of Rhodesia. So the answer to this question is option A, Zimbabwe. Question 43, the adoption of non-alignment as a principle of Nigeria's foreign policy was aimed at Dash. The answer to this question is option D, insulating Nigeria against having to take side in the Cold War. Now, what is non-alignment to start with? Non-alignment is simply non-commitment of a nation to either the West or the East on any international issues. Okay, so this means that they are staying neutral as regards to any international issues. Now, the answer to this question is option D because that is what non-alignment is all about, okay? Covering Nigerians or protecting Nigerians against having to take side in the Cold War. The Cold War was between um, Britain and Russia, the superpowers. So the answer to this question is option D. Question 44. In 1979, the non-aligned member states were dash. The answer to this question is none of the above. Okay, so non-alignment started with 25 members and it grew to 120. So 120 is what we have presently or currently. So the answer to this question is none of the above. Question 45. Which of the following was the Secretary General of OPEC? OPEC is Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries. The answer to this question is option D, Viluan Lukwan. Now, it was from Nigeria and it was there from 1st of January 1995 to 31st of December 2000. So the answer to this question is option D. Question 46, which of the following countries pioneered the idea of ECOWAS alongside Nigeria? So the answer to this question is Togo, Nigeria under President Yakubu Gowan and Togo under President Eyadima. So the answer to this question is option B. Do you have questions you would like to ask? Please feel free to ask your questions. All you need to do is you click on the link in the description below, which takes you to the MySchool website. There you can ask as many questions as possible and solutions will be provided to you within a short period of time. Now, moving on to question 47, which of the following international organizations were in existence before the Second World War? The answer to this question is the League of Nations, which was established in the year 1920. Now, the Second World War was between 1939 to 1945. So, the United Nations was established in the year 1945, OAU was established in the year 1963, and ECOWAS was established in the year 1975. So, all of this happened after the Second World War, except for Option C, the League of Nations, which happened before the Second World War. And that's what the question is addressing. So the answer to this question is option C. Do you have better steps, explanations, or solutions you'd like to share with us? Please feel free to indicate this in the comment section below. Indicate the question as well as the solutions you would like to share. 
Question 48. The organ of the United Nations responsible for the approval of its annual budget is the DASH. The answer to this question is General Assembly. Do not forget that we have six organs under the United Nations and the General Assembly is the principal organ. So the, princ uh, the principal organ, which is the General Assembly, um, performs several functions, okay? It approves budgets, it admits new members into the organization, it appoints the Secretary General, and so on and so forth. So um, approving annual budget is one of the functions of the General Assembly. Okay, the Secretariat, what does the uh, Secretariat do? What they do is they carry out uh, the day-to-day -day work in the, of, of the organization. Um, Security Council ensure peace and security. Um, economic and Social Council, what they do is they address economic and social challenges. Okay, we also have the Trusteeship Council and the um, International Court of Justice. So the answer to this question is option C. Question 49. Each member state is represented on the Board of Governors of OPEC for a period of dash. The answer is option A, two years. So two years, the board meets every two years. So the answer to this question is option A, two years. We've come to the end of this beautiful segment. I believe it was impactful. Thank you for joining us. Please do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and lastly, tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.